Hi, my name is Sarah. Today we're going to look through some classes with OSSD. We're going to look at Unit 3 of the Biology course. In Unit 3, we have seven lessons, four assignments, and several different discussion forms. If you want to pass this class, you need to be able to write scientifically. If I open up the course, I can notice that there is a discussion area as well as a prior learning assessment. So let's look at the discussion. Here, students will be answering questions and talking about the subjects. Let's take a look at lesson one. Looks like we're gonna be learning about DNA today. At the end, there's a video lesson link right here. Let's take a look together. This video is interactive, so I should be able to answer questions while I'm learning. Oh, so A always binds with T. That's easy. C always binds with G as we learned in the lesson. Nice. Now we have an assignment to do. Let's click the link and see what it's about. This is based on information we learned in the previous video, so we should be able to answer it pretty easily. Here we can add a submission and get our grade. Now that we've learned about DNA, let's figure out how to finish this assignment together. Looks like the next assignment is a discussion form. Other students wrote really detailed explanations for the questions. How can I do that? Well, we can figure it out together. Add a new discussion topic, and let's get started. Now we have a simulation. Let's open it up. Follow the central dogma to transcribe and then translate your DNA into protein. Oof, that's difficult, but don't worry, we got it. In our class, we can work on several different similar situations so we can really get the hang of it before we submit the assignment. After the last three assignments, we now have a lab. Let's look at what we need to do. Looks like we have a link here. Here we can start our lab simulation. At the very end of the unit, we have a presentation. Let's take a look. There's a lot you're gonna need to be able to discuss in your presentation. Let's take a look at the rubric. For this presentation, you're gonna need to make a slideshow and a recorded Zoom presentation for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's practice together so that we can get a good grade. And then last but not least, the test. We're gonna need to prepare. Come on in. As you can see, you have a lot to do. This is one unit out of many, but you don't have to worry. We got this together. So we'll see you at iBest.